Hi, this is a John the Ripper uh, password cracker for Windows tutorial. First of all, you want to download the binaries. They're at uh, www.openwall.com. John, this is the actual URL for like um, John the Ripper. Check it out. It's up here. You know, it's here. So then, like, you scroll down, and you want the stable releases. Here they are. Not the development releases, not the stable releases, and these are them. And you get DOS binaries, you click on that, and you save it. Now I've already saved it, so uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, then you go to where you've actually saved the zip file, let's close it like this, and you should see it in the local disk down here. Here it is. Now I've checked it for viruses. I can show you like a virus scan. Let's scan it for viruses. Just going to take a minute. Yeah, just like you are. We're going to virus anyway. Just to make one key. Virus scan. Uh, just taking time. Here we go. Now we're rocking. Rocking. Stuck in a jockey. My copy. Here we go. So, do scan details. McAfee! Alright, let's just go to the other folder in the meantime. You've got a documents folder here, and your binaries inside here. Now, the documents, you're going to have to go into DOS to read them, because they're not text files. Right, let's click OK to that, and let's get rid of that. Um, but basically, we're going to go into DOS now. Now, here's a nifty command for you. C D D D. There we go. That gets us down to DOS. Now we want to go inside the Documents folder. Now let's go to more examples because they are binaries. It says in the README that you don't need to do anything because they are binaries. So if you do get them, um, your password file, if it uses shadow passwords, you may use the John's unshadow utility to obtain the traditional Unix password file. And that's how you do it. So and then you've got John, my password, right here. John, my password. That's what you do. So let's quit that. Let's go to run directory that there is all the binaries. You want John M and X, there it is, that's your, your, your options. We're going to try a little test. Yes, yeah, that's all that done. So, to basically do it, you, do, you run John M and X and then my password file. So, that's you know, that's the basic command if you've got a Linux password file and that's about it for how to do it for Linux I mean Windows